Hi and welcome back. Over the last few weeks we've been talking about anti-gravity and UFO propulsion systems. What exactly the aliens have in their UFOs I have no idea but what we have on Earth we do know a bit about. So let's talk a bit about gravity. Now gravity is odd. We know that magnetism has an attraction for us. You can actually feel an attraction from a distance. So there is obviously a force which is coming out of the magnet and we can see that with iron filings. You can see waves of magnetism. You know, with electricity you can also see that there's a force and you can measure it. Nine volts. But with gravity, here's my anvil, it's just heavy, but there's no force that we can measure coming, exuding, coming off it. That's because gravity works in a very different way. It's all to do with mass. But that's rather old fashioned. If there was gravitational force, maybe we can make anti-gravity. Just imagine, even partial anti-gravity would transform aviation. I mean, you can make airplanes slightly lighter. Now it turns out that people like Boeing are actually working on anti-gravity. They have a program called GRASP, Gravity Research Advanced Space Propulsion. Who would have guessed? I mean, this is in public domain. So let's look today at what the big defense contractors are looking at and possibly what they've achieved. In an excellent article in Jane's Defense Weekly by Nick Cook, Nick writes, Boeing, the world's largest aircraft manufacturer, has admitted it is working on experimental anti-gravity projects that could overturn a century of conventional aerospace propulsion technology. They're closely looking at the work of Ejevny Podlakov, a Russian scientist who has experimented with superconducting technology in both Russia and Finland. In a BBC interview on an excellent film called Project Greenclow, Eugenov said this. One of my colleagues, who was living at that time, just came to the laboratory and said, guys, what are you doing here? And he was smoking his pipe. And he blew his pipe over the cryostat, and the smoke went close to the cryostat, hit some unseen barrier, and very fast went up. This gravity field is, uh, in our case, repulsive. And as you can see, the repulsive force is pretty big. In a document made public by Boeing from the GRASP team, they said they've been working on an anti-gravity beam, four inches, 10 centimeters wide, that is successfully repelling objects more than a half mile one kilometer away with negligible power loss. They go on to say, such technology could be engineered into a new weapon system capable of vaporizing objects. And this blockbuster. Objects placed over a rapidly spinning disk of superconducting material lost up to 2% of its weight. What we're seeing here is a report about existing technology. A 2% weight loss from a Boeing B-1 bomber would reduce its weight by this much. Also, these reports 
were made public in the 1990s. Now, 20 years later, I believe we have anti-gravity drives. Truth is out there. 